What I want to know from you, Dominic, is, uh, of course, you're an expert in FEA, but how would you, first of all, define FEA? I would sometimes ask experts, how would they define their own field? Maybe you could define in, um, what is the finite element method and what's the difference between FEA and FEM? Oh, that's a great question, yeah. Because sometimes it's confusing for people uh, yeah. because both uh, terms are used, FE or FEM, and, and people uh, don't realize what is it. So it's a, that's a great question. So let's start with the basic. FEA stands for finite element analysis, okay? And FEM stands for finite element method. So the FEM, it is the method we are using to conduct the FEA, okay? So... I like to say that FEA, it is a discipline uh, in which mathematics, engineering, and uh, physics, and computer science meet, okay? Mm. It, it is the, the conjunction between those four disciplines. So wh what we are doing with FEA, it's uh, to predict the real world with the mathematical models, okay? So the, 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 the objective is to, 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 to define a design, to, to, to conduct uh, the, 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 an analysis in order to define a, a design without building a prototype. You know, a few, few years ago, be, be before that FEA was used intensively, what we are, the engineers were doing, uh, pro, uh, they were doing prototyping. So they, they were doing a basic analysis most of the time and calculations. And to verify that uh, the, 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 the analysis, the, the, the calculations were good, they were building uh, some prototypes and they, they did some tests on the prototypes. So, and then based on what, the, uh, based on the results they obtained with the prototype, they were doing some modifications, they redid the analysis and so on. And they built another prototype and, and, and they continue like that. So. They did a lot of prototypes before to, to arrive uh, on the final product, okay? But it was time consuming and it cost a lot of money to develop a final product. And, and especially in aerospace, because to build a complete aircraft, to, to test it and repeat that a lot of times, uh, they did it because they, 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 a lot of uh, aircraft uh, flew that, uh, using this method. But as I said, it took a lot of time, it cost a lot of money. So by doing FEA, finite element analysis, this prototyping is, be, is now done at the virtual, in, virtually using a computer. And for that, we use a method named finite element method. And this method, what is it? It is, we, we, we know that uh, all the behavior in the world are, are, are described by the, the the, the partial differential equations. Think about a, a, a behavior in the world and it's de it, it is described by partial differential equations. Uh, so if you solve the partial di differential equations, which govern a, a given physics, you are able to do some predictions, okay? But the problem with this method is that a computer cannot solve directly a partial differential equation, okay? So in order to solve a, par a partial differential equation, we use the finite element method. Why? Because, because the finite element method, based on the, what we call a discretization, permits to transform the, the, the partial differential equation into, or the par, partial differential, it's not necessarily one partial differential, partial differential equation. It can be a system of, uh, of uh, PDEs, partial differential. So the FEM, the finite element method, permit to transform this PDE system into a matrix system. And the beauty of that is that the computer is able to, comp to, to, to compute the, 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 the matrix system and to solve the solution and to, to, to give us the, the to, to, yeah, to predict, the, to help us predicting the, the, the behavior of the system. So it is what finite element analysis is. And it's, it's very powerful because it can be applied in many domains. It can be applied Personally, I applied it on, uh, on solid mechanics and, um, and structural problems, but it, it can be applied also for thermal problems, for acoustic problems, for fluid, fluid dynamics mm -hmm. problems, a lot of problems. And we, we, we can, maybe we will talk about that later, we, we can create some interactions uh, between those disciplines and in order to, to solve very, very complex problems. So it is what FEA is.
And it is the difference between FEA and FEM. FEM, it is the method we use to, 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 to conduct an FEA. Mm -hmm.